Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So we have a pencil review today, and we're looking at two variations on essentially the same pencil. Uh, this is the, the Faber-Castell um, grip pencil, and uh, I have it in two forms. I have it sort of in the standard form that is sold here in this three pack, uh, the Grip 2001. And then I also have the pencil here in this form, which is the Jumbo Grip. Uh, and it is a larger, it's jumbo. It's, it's about twice the size of the standard pencil. Um, and I bought these pencils uh, when I was in Paris a couple years ago. And they come in different uh, core grades. Uh, so a lot of times these pencils are used um, by artists for sketching and drawing. Um, but they're also good pencils for just general writing and office and school use. What is uh, particularly interesting about these pencils and what makes them unique is they actually put on the pencil itself, uh, and perhaps it'll be easier to show it on this larger one, there are these grips and this is not sure if this is silicone or rubber or what, but there are these dots that they put on the surface of the pencil. So it's dimensional here and it allows the writer uh, or the artist to really have a firm grip on the pencil itself. Uh, we'll note too, um, let's talk about the barrel because that's important. It's triangular, as you can see. So in addition to having the grips, you have a triangular shaped barrel. Uh, here on the jumbo, uh, there's the UPC code. You can see uh, Germany, these are made in Germany. And it has a place, it's in English here, for one to put their name. So, you know, to me, the fact that they leave a spot for you to write your name on the pencil, uh, which you'd probably have to use a marker or pen um, to do that, uh, to me, especially for the jumbo, kind of hints that this really is intended for uh, school use and for perhaps young children learning to write as often uh, they use a thicker pencil uh, because they're easier to hold. But kids of all ages like these big pencils and I do know people who use them for drawing as well. Now this one does not, uh, there's no notation here of the core and the cores um, grade, uh, but from the website online for Faber-Castell, this appears to be a number two or an HB grade here uh, with this core. You'll also see the core, uh, the pencil is, is larger and the core, the circumference of the core is larger as well. Perfectly centered, um, by the way. So there's that. Now, let's take a look at the three pack. These are really sort of standard size. And um, Faber-Castell since 1761. Um, these are an, they marked here Eco Pencil um, in that this is wood from sustainable sources used here in this pencil. Um, black lead pencils grip 2001. Now here it says two and a half equals HB. And there's a little illustration here with a 
close up of the soft grip zone. So this area here and I don't know if you can make it out, but the 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 blister pack is actually cut out right here. Uh, you can s there, this is open so that when you're in the store, you can actually touch that grip zone and feel those grips. Uh, so it's really quite a selling feature for these pencils um, and. Uh, this this particular package also comes here with what they call a push-on eraser. So an eraser that can be put at the end of the pencil uh, to erase and can be put on the uh, other end of the pencil when not in use to protect the point. Kind of an interesting idea. Um, and uh, so... Uh, on the back, um, here we'll read the English graphite pencil HB with soft grip zone for secure non-slip grip, a push-on eraser. Uh, down here, the pencil is made in Germany, the eraser is made in Malaysia. So, these are the the pencils again kind of variation on the theme um, and the camera doesn't quite do it justice but the silver paint job on these pencils is very very good and um, it is a metallic paint so it's really got um, a sparkle to it and the paint job is, is very nice the imprint in the pencil itself is very clear and very sharp uh, to read. Um, it is a very well made and engineered pencil just from all appearances. Um, it looks like uh, it's, it's got um, you know, a, a nice wood grain here and uh, the fit and finish of the pencil is very very nice um, and again triangular shaped so let me uh, let me get um, one of these pencils out and we'll take a closer look at these Faber Castell grip pencils okay here they are um, out of the box uh, both pencils are pre-sharpened uh, by the way, when I bought this jumbo grip, it was not in any kind of packaging. It was, they had a big, um, I bought it at the, the BHV uh, department store, which is in the Marais area of Paris. Um, it's right, a, right across from the uh, uh, Hotel de Ville, the city hall. And um, it, on, I'm not sure, I want to say it was the third or fourth floor of the department store. They had a giant section, a stationary section, where they had pens and pencils and paper and all kinds of wonderful things. And they just had these big canisters with, with pencils that they were selling individually, and one of them had these jumbo grips. So it didn't have any packaging with it. I just bought it sync individually. Um, but here's the two um, next to each other. And then here's the eraser that came with this, the, the Grip 2001. Uh, let's see, I'll try to focus in here. If you can see, uh, it says Faber-Castell on the eraser. And it sort of has a... Uh, a concave, uh, a, a reverse of the grip pattern on it. So, you know, it has the dots that go inward. But again, this is sort of designed to be a pen, serve as a pencil cap or here as just a slide on eraser. And uh, as you can see, these, these pencils do not come with an eraser built on. They have a kind of a grayish, um, the standard sized ones have sort of a grayish cap. Very nicely done, by the way, at the tip 
um, they have that and the the jumbo is just you know just raw it's just a cut there on the pencil but okay again they're they come they both are pre-sharpened and ready to go so let me get some paper and we will try these out okay i'm going to start with um with this one first and put a little down on paper here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a, um, again, they're calling it a two and a half and, uh, or an HB. And um, it is a firmer uh, writing pencil for sure. Um, it, um, I wouldn't, it's, it's a little bit harder than a standard number two, what we would be used to. Um, has a triangle barrel. I will tell you though, um, yeah, it has a nice grip. You know, it's a triangular pencil, so those bring a certain amount of comfort, I think, automatically, because you really have these, these broader sides uh, in which to rest your three fingers on if you hold your pencil. Um, in the traditional grip um, and uh, so it's a comfortable pencil to hold with the with the broader sides and then these little these little grip buttons on there they really they really do make for a nice hold okay we're gonna uh, change gears here And this is our jumbo grip. This is fun to write with. Um, and perhaps it looks darker. I think it is. Uh, it certainly has a thicker line uh, on the page, but then let's be reminded that the core is almost twice the size of the other one, of the standard. So I would expect it to be a bit bolder. Smooth pencil. Mm -hmm. I could see where people who draw and sketch could find uh, value in using a pencil. Uh, like that. Whether or not it comes in other core hardnesses, I'm not sure. I know that the standard sized grip does come in a few different core sizes. Good point retention on this pencil, by the way. Um, let's uh, take a look. I'm anxious to try this eraser here. You know what? Not awful. 
Not bad. There's the, the eraser that came with it, actually. Let's try it on the jumbo. You know. Better than a lot of erasers, uh, frankly, that get included with pencils or that are attached. Okay, now let's try a Mars plastic eraser, also of German heritage here. Mm-hmm, nice. Pearl. Okay. Well, I would say that um, these erasers, this is synthetic rubber. Let's try, I got a natural rubber eraser here. I would say these erasers are doing okay, almost. Most of them are doing a, a good job. Try a gummy racer. Lifting this graphite off the page. Let's try a French eraser. Well, look, how about that? So, um, yeah, very erasable pencil. Yeah, both of these. Get good marks for erasability, that's for sure. All right. Let's uh, do a little bit of more writing with them. This two and a half uh, here is a bit, is a firmer core, no doubt about it. Um, it a little on the harder side. Um, it's not going to give you a real dark line. Um, you are going to have a point on the pencil that really holds for a good long time. I'm going to switch to the, the jumbo grip. This is probably, um, this particular pencil is probably even better suited for printing than cursive because of the really um, wide core. You 
can make it work with cursive. Um, but uh, because depending on the the tilt of the core, the graphite tip as it wears, you'll get variations of thin and thick as you pull the pencil across the paper and form your letters. It is fun to write with. I actually do like writing with this. Um, I just feel that the core in the Jumbo Grip uh, perhaps is a step softer, is a step darker. Um, and uh, it also, I, the point on the Jumbo Grip seems to wear a little quicker. And because of the wide core, when writing, sometimes these loops are closed rather than open or barely open um, because uh, it, the core is just a little too wide. Again, not that we we can we can make cursive work with anything, but. Um, with a core that is this this thick, uh, it requires um, uh, a little more a little more care. You know, a very nice pencil overall, well made. You can tell um, very high quality. The paint, again, the fit, the finish, the feel. Um, even the way that these grips are applied onto the pencil, very well done. Um, a bit firmer than perhaps those of us who generally use number twos um, and are used to uh, a, a tad bit of a softer core, a tad bit of a darker line. Um, this really um, you know, they say it, it's HB two and a half. I think it's a F, more of an F two and a half, but um, that's just from my own experience. But a, 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 like I said, a nice pencil and certainly one that is extremely comfortable to hold. So overall, I really do like it. So thank you for spending some time with me on uh, this ish edition of Always Analog. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, please give me a like, a subscribe if you are so inclined, and I just thank you for spending some time. And we'll see you again here soon on Always Analog.